We're now going to do a muscle test for the serratus anterior in a seated position. So we know it's attaching two ribs, one through nine, and then wrapping around the rib cage to that uh, anterior medial border of the scapula. So in a seated position, we'll get her to move her hand out to the side just to provide a little bit of support because the muscle test I'm going to do is going to have some, uh, some force pushing her in this direction. We'll pick up the arm we're going to be testing into the scaption plane, which is about 30 degrees here. And this is going to be a muscle test that involves about 20% with this support arm, and then the remaining 80% is going to come into the lateral border of her scapula, okay? And I'm going to try and force her lateral to medial, and she's slowly going to build resistance back against me. Notice how I've hooked my elbow into my hip. That way I don't actually have to just use my upper body to muscle it, but I can actually just lean my body in once I'm up against her scapula. And as I slowly lead in, she pushes back with her serratus anterior. Good. And relax it. For a posterior view, we'll uh, turn the patient around. And I will be doing the exact same thing on the other side. So support with the opposite hand. We'll bring the test arm out into the scaption plane, which is, again is about 30 degrees here. And we have the lateral border of her scapula, which I'll be contacting sort of with my uh, thenar and hypothenar eminence. Make sure to again hook that elbow right into your hip. And then I'm slowly going to load in and she's going to resist that motion. Hold there nice and strong. And I can feel the pressure build as I load in more and then I can slowly load back. For a, a variation on a seated muscle test for the serratus anterior, uh, we know it attaches to ribs one through nine, so we can actually check each specific area if we start right at the top here. And then we'll palpate in because we know the attachment points are right underneath my thumb and I can check specific, specific rib segments. So I'll hold there nice and strong and you can feel the contraction lower a little bit each time. Go down again. And again, you can do nine separate test positions down again to see is one area locking better than the other. Sometimes you may maybe didn't get the best result on a global muscle test of this muscle and this is a good way to just kind of work through all its range of motion and see where is it stabilizing and where is it not. And then we can go right down to about there, hold there. Again, while palpating with your thumb you can feel all the muscle tissue here as well as fibers firing when you do the muscle test.